Ever wondered how that delicious anana you enjoy makes its way from the tree to your table? Welcome to the fascinating world of anona harvesting. Anona, also known as custard apple or sugar apple, is a delectable fruit that's popular worldwide for its sweet, creamy flavor and health benefits. This tropical delight, native to the Americas, has found its home in various parts of the world, including the lush landscapes of Southeast Asia. Understanding the journey of Anona from tree to table involves acquainting ourselves with the process of harvesting this fruit. It's not just about plucking the fruit off the tree. There's a technique to it, a time-tested process that ensures the fruit you enjoy is at its best when it reaches you. Harvesting Anona involves carefully selecting ripe fruits, gently hand-picking them to avoid damage, and then preparing them for their journey to the market. It's a process that requires knowledge, patience, and a gentle touch. Intrigued? Well, stay with us as we delve into the step-by-step -step process of harvesting Anona and selling it in the market. Harvesting Anona isn't as simple as just plucking it off the tree. It requires careful consideration and timing. So let's delve into the step-by-step -step process to ensure we get the best out of our Anona trees. Now, the first and perhaps the most critical step in the harvesting process is identifying when the Anona is ripe and ready for picking. This isn't as straightforward as it might seem. Unlike many fruits, Anona doesn't ripen uniformly. Some fruits might be ready for harvest, while others on the same tree still need more time. So how do we tell when it's the perfect time to harvest? Well, ripe Anona will have a slight give when gently squeezed, similar to a ripe avocado they'll also have a rich, sweet aroma, indicating that they're ready to be enjoyed. But how do we pick these ripe fruits without causing damage to either the fruit or the tree? The answer lies in the technique. Instead of yanking the fruit off, it's best to twist it gently. This way the stem breaks free from the branch without damaging the fruit or the tree. It's a simple yet effective technique that can make a world of difference to the quality of your harvest. Once harvested, it's crucial to handle the fruits with care. Anona is a delicate fruit, and any damage to its skin can cause it to start deteriorating rapidly. To avoid this, it's best to place the fruits in a single layer in a padded container. This prevents them from rolling around and bumping into each other during transportation. Now before we take our Anona to the market, we need to prepare them properly. This involves cleaning the fruits to remove any dirt or bugs that might be on the skin. It's also a good idea to sort the fruits based on their ripeness. This way, you can sell the ripest fruits first and give the others more time to reach their peak. Lastly, it's important to remember that Anona is a climacteric fruit, which means it continues to ripen even after it's been harvested. So, it's vital to store the fruits in a cool, dry place to slow down the ripening process and prolong their shelf life. With the right technique and timing, you can ensure that you harvest Anona at its peak ripeness and quality. Harvesting the Anona is just the first part of the journey. Next, we need to prepare it for the market. The preparation process is crucial as it determines the freshness and overall quality of the Anona when it reaches its final destination, the customer's basket. Let's start with cleaning the Anona. This step is essential to remove any dirt or dust that might have settled on the fruit during harvesting. A gentle rinse under running water is usually enough. Using a soft cloth, we pat them dry, being careful not to bruise the delicate skin. Next, we move on to sorting. This involves separating the Anona based on their size, color, and ripeness. Sorting ensures that each batch of Anona is uniform, making it more appealing to customers. It also helps in pricing the fruit accurately. For instance, fully ripe Anonas may fetch a higher price than those that are still slightly green. After sorting, it's time for packaging. Now, the type of packaging used largely depends on how far the Anona needs to travel. For local markets, a simple basket or crate lined with soft material such as straw or foam is often sufficient. This protects the Anona from getting bruised during transportation. However, if the Anona is to be shipped to distant markets, more robust packaging is needed. In such cases, individual compartments are preferred to prevent the fruits from rubbing against each other. Remember, the goal is to get the Anona to the market in the best possible condition. But packaging is not just about protecting the Anona. It's also about presentation. A well-packaged batch of Anona not only looks attractive, but also gives the impression of quality. It's a silent sales pitch that can significantly influence a customer's buying decision. 
And there you have it. From cleaning to sorting to packaging, each step in the preparation process plays a crucial role in maintaining the quality of the Anona and enhancing its market appeal. It's a labor of love, but one that's well worth the effort. With proper preparation and packaging, your Anona is ready to make its way to the market. Now that our Anona is ready, it's time to take it to the market. Choosing the right market is the first step in selling our Anona. Markets with a variety of fresh produce often attract customers looking for unique fruits like Anona. Consider local farmers markets, grocery stores, or even online marketplaces that cater to fruit enthusiasts. Once we've picked the right market, we need to think about pricing. Pricing is a delicate balance. It needs to reflect the time and effort put into growing and harvesting the Anona, but it also needs to be competitive. Research is key here. Look at what other sellers are charging for similar fruits and consider your own costs. Remember, a fair price is one that makes both you, the seller, and the customer happy. Now let's talk about attracting customers. Anona may not be as well known as apples or oranges, but that's part of its charm. Use this to your advantage. Set up a stand that highlights the unique qualities of the Anona. You might want to display a sign detailing where and how the fruit was grown, or even offer samples for people to try. Engage with your customers. Tell them about the rich, sweet taste of the Anona and its tropical origins. Explain how they can use it in their cooking or enjoy it as a healthy snack. You could also share some fun facts, like how Anona is also known as custard apple, or how it's packed with vitamin C and fiber. Remember, selling is not just about making a transaction. It's about forming connections and sharing your passion for what you do. So show your enthusiasm for the Anona and let it shine through in every interaction. Selling Anona can be a rewarding experience, especially when you see customers enjoying the fruits of your labor. Harvesting and selling Anona might seem like a lot of work, but it's a process that brings this delightful fruit to tables around the world. Let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've just shared. It all begins with the careful harvesting of this unique fruit, where each Anona is hand-picked at the peak of its ripeness. From there, the Anona is prepared for the market, cleaned and packaged, to ensure it arrives in perfect condition. Then comes the hustle and bustle of the marketplace, where the Anona is displayed and sold, often drawing a crowd of eager buyers. This process, from tree to market, is a labor of love, a testament to the dedication of those who work tirelessly to bring this fruit to your table. So the next time you enjoy Anona, remember the journey it took from the tree to your table. And who knows, maybe you'll be inspired to try your hand at harvesting and selling Anona yourself.